just like everybody else, I love the outdoor boys. And in honor of that, we're going to attempt to make their griddle. I don't know what size his griddle is, but I'm going to do 12 by 8 inches. That looks about the same size. Something like that, anyways. Let's get these marked off here, then we'll go cut it out. Hey, safety first, you know. Get away your shield. I need a new shield. You can barely see out of this one. Voila. Hey, that'd be a perfect size of griddle, wouldn't it? I guess I should be doing this in my backyard like Luke does, though. Listen, I'm not a professional metal worker, okay? So we're just going to wing it here. I know he kind of bent it over. Oh, yeah. Does that look like his griddle? Hey, it's getting there. Hey, we're getting the shape. I think I need to round my edges off real quick. Use my torch as a guide here. I'm gonna round my edges off real quick. Hey, we're getting there. Getting a rough shape, anyways. Okay, I have like the basic shape of it, so I'm gonna take my grinder and go around the edges and clean it up real good. Then we'll go back and like refine it real good. I don't know if it's gonna look as good as his, but it'll cook, you know. All right, we got it a little more even now, so go back and try to refine it just a little bit. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Hey, you think we can cook off of it? I'm gonna do a little more grinding to make it a little more even, then go back over it one more time and should be ready for our handles. Hey, I'm pretty proud of that. I'll hammer on it a little bit more and get it a little more smooth. Should be ready for the handles. Hey, I can cook something on that. Oh, yeah. What y'all think about that, huh? You think Luke would be proud of that? All right, now I gotta figure out this handle situation here. I don't know if this is right, but I cut these at 10 inches and I'm gonna bend it at three inches on each side and that should leave me four inches in the middle for the handle. It may not be exactly like this, but it'll be close. In his video, he flattened the ends to get the screw on, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I think that's pretty good. What do y'all think? Pretty good. Let that cool off a little bit. That sucker's hot. Go ahead and do my other one. Okay. I think that's close enough. Let those cool off. I burnt my finger. Ow! Hey, do me a favor and subscribe, please. I appreciate it. All right, I got it marked off at three inches. I need to bend it this way. That looks about right. Oh, yeah. Should've wore gloves for this. I done burnt myself a couple times. Wear some gloves for this part. It's probably gonna get hot, hot. I'm gonna flat this side down and then bend it. All right, now we just need to bend these around. Should be ready to attach it. Bend it that way. This way, guys, this way. Gotta bend it this way, okay?
All right. Got my handles all even now. Need to heat them up real quick and kind of form them to fit. Then I can drill them and attach the handles on here. Hey, that's about perfect right there. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna let those cool off real quick and I'll attach the handles, which should be interesting because I don't know how to do the, you know, the self-made rivet thing. So we'll give it a shot though. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do with these rivets are I'm gonna heat this up and then beat it down to where it's got a mushroom head. And then I'll fit it and then, then we can put it together and heat it up and beat, beat it from the other side. We'll just beat it all around, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I think that'll work. Go ahead and do the other side. Hey, that's gonna work. All right, I got my drill bit. Talking about a perfect size now. Hey, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. Homemade rivets. One more. I gotta let that cool off a little bit. That sucker is hot. All right, just gotta attach this other handle. Hey, what y'all think? Close? Pretty close? Maybe Luke would be proud of it. I got some of this uh, Blackstone grill seasoning that I'm gonna use to uh, season it. So let's get into that. I got it seasoned up. I might as well try it out. We'll try it out. Try some of this fried bread they make all the time. Fried bread. I ain't got no honey butter, so this is what we're doing right now. I guess I need some tongs. Hey, that looks pretty good, don't it? Try out this bread. Mm, hey, that's good. Hey, subscribe, please, and I hope I did this justice. Thank y'all for watching.